the Humble ARP X single oscillator synthesizer, but very capable. I think from the single oscillator synthesizers I've had, this is one of the most interesting capable ones. Uh, I guess I've had three or four um, Moog Satellite Roland SH-1000. Now that one is really good, truth to tell. Uh, Moog Works Dot and, and the Axe. This is very interesting. Now I'm still working on this one. There's some significant slider problems. I've got to do a little more calibration. But one of the features I want to show right now, which to me is quite interesting, because I know I know other synthesizers can do it, but this one seems to do it in a really nice, stable fashion. And that is when you put the filter into self-resonance. And you get a nice sine wave out as you raise the resonance. And that lets you blend and get two notes out of the axe instead of one. And you can adjust the tuning of it once you hit that oscillating point. I also have um, some pulse width modulation going on in this sound. It's a pure square, so PWM is working. What's nice about the ARP is everything is driven off the same LFO. So if you apply LFO to your filter or to the oscillator or to pulse width, uh, sample and hold is also driven off it. Single signal, so that means everything is in sync. So you can freely dial up. Whatever else you want to throw in. And it will stay nice and good. in some cases.
just really stable and I like that. Now, one thing to warn you about when using this to get the extra frequencies or extra notes out of it and create these little harmonies is the volts per octave setting for the filter has to be full on. Otherwise, it would be completely out of tune. And the keyboard will be, you know, in tune. But the filter... The filter will not be in tune. That's not an octave, right? So it will be permanently out of tune with the regular oscillator. So you can get it in tune for, sort of in tune for a couple notes. And then it goes dramatically out of tune, right? Now when they're back to the same scaling of one volt per octave for the filter, as well as the VCO, now you're back in business. Pulse, that's the auto repeat. So, just holding the note, you don't get that control voltage pulse from the repeat, so you get a much cleaner sample and hold. Now, if you're wondering why I'm not using the pitch sample and hold feature. It's because this slider is no good. And if I turn it on, 
all I would get is um, random pulsing. So that is the random noise pulse of the noise generator into the sample and hold into the oscillator, but um, no pitch because the slider is no good. Kind of interesting just the way it is though. It makes me think about a mod. Now if you are listening very intently, you can hear the underlying note. Because again, I'm mixing the regular oscillator with playing of the filter. So you get a little bubbling on top of your Gotta clean these sliders too. Just that little bubbling sound. You just apply a tiny amount. That's just too slow, huh? another kind of interesting effect. You use the sample and hold beats as a like a metronome. Now Portamento will also wreck that. So just can't overcome it because the notes are sliding and changing and all that so you got to have ornamental off if you're going to use these features So, I think this is a pretty amazing single oscillator synth. And it's giving me some ideas on some things to try on other analog synthesizers I have.